Hi guys, so welcome back. Today we are doing something that I had promised that I was going to do a little bit more of, and this is what we are doing today. So this is the Crazy, um Ramen Noodle Set, and this was sold out like a really long time ago. I tried to get it, and it seemed as if like they just weren't making it anymore or something. I don't know, but I found it. I found it on Amazon. I don't know how much it was. They're pretty cheap. It's just the shipping that costs more just because they do come mm -hmm. from... Sorry, that was my phone. They do come from Japan. So it does cost a little more, but yeah. So let's go ahead and see how to do this. Okay, so I just pulled it out of the packaging, and the first thing that I did find were um, was a fork and a toothpick. You also get an orange packet, brown packet, oops, red packet. You get a little candy type thing. You get a little piping bag, and then you get your, um, whatever this is called, mold. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this template, which I don't know if you can see, but there's a small dot here, a bigger one, and a circle. And I'm going to cut this. Wow. This tastes like bubble gum. Okay. So that's what it looks like. So let's see. I'm going to cut it first into a chunk. And so this is what I'm doing. I'm just cutting it um, to make the little molds. So I don't know how big it's supposed to be. I feel like these are way, this is way too big. Let's see. <laughs> this feels so funny. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and roll these up to the size of these and then the other one to here. Okay, so what I did was I just put my first one in the mold and I kind of just pressed down a little bit so there are these little indentations. I'm going to take my red packet and cut this open and we're going to fill, oh they look little, I don't know, little candy beads I guess and they're different colors. Oh, I'm sorry, that was my phone. Okay. I don't really know how much I'm supposed to put in here, but that looks like enough, right? Then you're going to, I don't know how they're going to like not fall over, but okay, push it together and firmly press all the edges down. There is some excess, but that's okay. And... We're going to open it, and I'm just going to peel back some of this layering. And okay, so I did pour my water to the line in this one. I'm going to take my brown packet, cut this open. I don't know what this one smells like. All right. Pour that in. All right, and then we're going to stir it. Till it's pretty much dissolved. So you can see this one over here sitting down. I also put some water in this one to the fill line. I am going to take my last packet, which is the orange one. Cut this open. Nice bright yellow coloring. And I think these are going to be our noodles. And stir this up. This one has a thicker consistency, if you can see. And I'm just going to go ahead and stir this one up. Okay, so now that that is all stirred up, I'm going to take my bag, and it shows that you're supposed to put the toothpick, which I need to open. You're going to put the toothpick through the bag, just like this, and poke the corner. And that is where the noodles will come out of. 
And then I'm just going to kind of fold this down a little. And pour this in here. So I'm going to pour my ramen, which is, it's getting kind of clunky, straight into the bag. And I know you can't really see what I'm doing because my hand is in the way. Okay. And this smells like bubble gum. But it's going to look like ramen. All right. I think I got it all. Fix the bag. So with my bag, I'm going to kind of just twist it and gather it at the corner that I cut it, which is somewhere over here. And now what I'm going to do is ooh, drizzle my noodles in. And if you can see, noodles, oh you can't see, but noodles are forming. And this is really awesome. Look at that. Okay, I got to get the rest of this out of here. It looks like it makes a lot of noodles. Look how cool. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take this and pop in the rest of our little balls that we formed. I think, yeah, it goes this way. Yeah, so I'm going to kind of push push this down and this one is going to be a lot bigger but that's okay push that down and pop them out and I'm just going to cut off the edges but there is the little egg if you can see it the last thing go. I'm going to do is take the egg and I did save some leftover paste and put the paste right in there to make it look like an egg. ramen. Put our little egg in there. Our star. And we have our two kind of whatever you would call these. There we go. Okay, so I am back. And excuse me, I just went to the pool. I didn't even mention that. But anyway, so we have our ramen over here. And I did save a little bit of the white stuff so I could try it. And then we have our little, whatever you would call these. And then I do have extra of the meat. So, I'm going to first try the little white to see what this tastes like. Mmm. Tastes like that bubblegum flavor in most of these kits, but it's really not bad. Um... Our ramen actually turned into ramen. I just think this is amazing. I mean, they're actual noodles. Look at that. Like, how cool. So, let it, let's try our noodles. Here we go. <laughs> the consistency is very weird. Um, but it tastes like... I mean, it looks like ramen. Mm. It's good, though. The sauce, I think, is that bubblegum sauce, but it's really not bad. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and try one of these with the um, meat that we put in it. Mm. There you go. Those taste sweet. Kind of melt in your mouth. Um, let's just give them a taste by themselves. You can't see them, but they are on my ham. Mhm. Mm They're sweet. <coughs> Don't choke yourself on them. Woo! I made my eyes water. Um, I am going to try my little egg that I did make here, which I have a noodle attached to it. <laughs> Tastes just the same. But, I mean, this is just so cool. Like, how, how are you not amazed by that? But, anyways, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this kit. And thank you so much for coming back and tuning in with me. And I do have another one that is sitting right over here. So look forward to that in the near future. I will see you soon. Bye.